This exhibition features artwork on display for the Pennsylvania Watercolor Society's 34th Annual International Exhibition. Although half of the Pennsylvania Watercolor Society's members live in the state of Pennsylvania, this exhibit features artwork from around the world. This exhibit is displayed in the Crary Art Gallery, which is named for Claire and Jean Crary. Claire Crary was a photographer and Jean Crary was a painter, and the gallery resides in their former home. Besides hosting roaming art exhibits such as this, the Crary Art Gallery features an expansive garden and original work by both Claire and Jean Crary. All of the artwork seen here are watercolors. The style of painting is distinctive in that it uses water-based paints. The first known watercolor paintings date back to Paleolithic era caves in Europe. Watercolor painting was also quite popular in Egyptian times on papyrus scrolls, as well as in the European Middle Ages. Watercolor painting typically requires the use of a variety of different brushes. In fact, watercolor painting is referred to as brush painting in East Asia. However, some artists use a watercolor pencil, which can be used like any pencil, but has water-soluble pigment that can be blended using water once something is drawn. A key difficulty in watercolor painting stems from the transparency of the paint. While oil-based paints can easily cover up mistakes because they are opaque, any errors in watercolor paintings are extremely hard to remove. Overall, watercolor painting requires many different techniques because the paint itself, since it is water-based, is very dynamic and temperamental. Despite its difficulty, watercolor is one of the most popular mediums for painting. Famous watercolor artists include Albrecht Dürer, Georgia O'Keeffe, and Paul Cezanne. This exhibit is called Nature Unseen and is the senior exhibition for students at the Tyler School of Art at Temple University. All of these pieces use the same medium, printmaking, which is the process of making artwork through printing. This style of art has been around since 1439, when the printing press was invented. Because it allows for easy replication and a high level of detail, printmaking is often cited as the starting point of graphic design. Many of the artworks featured here are printed using silk screens or a mesh through which the ink or paint is pushed to make the design. Silk screens originally were made of silk, but are now typically made of polyester. The first example of silk screen printing can be found in Chinese artwork. All of the students featured in this exhibit studied with Professor Richard Rico, who is currently holding an exhibition of wood and bark inspired prints in Germany. Professor Rico is the head of Temple University's printmaking department, whose MFA program is ranked number 10 in the United States. This exhibit is entitled Stages by Barbara Caston at the Institute for Contemporary Art in Philadelphia. The first artwork we see is part of Amalgam, a 1979 work. In the late 1970s, concurrent with her large-scale projects on canvas that toggle between painting and photography, Caston made her only darkroom experiments. Solarized prints of simple arrangements of screens combined with geometric acrylic forms that cast patterned shadows, the amalgams are produced by making an enlargement from a negative, which is then overlaid with a photogram. After the print was developed, Caston would sometimes add a final layer by drawing diagrammic elements with paint stick. 